Hey Guardians, Mad Beef here. I hope you're all well. Been thinking a lot recently about doing a series of solo flawless master lost sector guides aimed at people like myself who aren't fantastic at the game and struggle to get that sort of content done. So I'm hoping it helps you if you struggle with things like this through that content. I'll be using a variety of subclasses and weapons and all sorts of stuff. But I wanted to point out with this one just how important malfeasance is and how helpful it is for content like this. Being able to deal not only with Overload, but unstoppable champions. Now, here we are at the Bay of Drowned Wishes. So immediately, just stay where you spawn. Hug the wall on the right, get rid of those screebs and the rest of the scorn and there's your first unstoppable now stay back you want to stay back at a good distance because if you close the gap anymore they seem to get enraged and then they chase you down and they're harder to stop and it's master you know you're gonna die we're trying to do this flawless um, one important thing I will say is if you're going for flawless don't rush doesn't matter what the score is you know you can't die, so who needs the revives? Who cares about the time? The aim is getting through it safely and getting it ticked off. So, take your time. But yeah, uh, the unstoppable. Just keep hugging this right hand wall. Obviously they fire from the right arm, the left arm, the right arm. Unless you stun them. So, if you're hugged up against that wall enough, then if it does get a shot on you, it'll only be with one arm. And when you are out, make sure you strafe inside to side. Shoot the explosives on the ground there as well, the round balls, if they're close enough to them, that'll do damage to the unstoppable or it'll damage the screebs. The screebs I like to stagger left and right a bit with my shots and get a shot on each so that then hopefully when one explodes it takes the rest out with it. The second abomination here, uh, I've really sped this up because it's quite a long slog using just the hand cannon. But the second abomination again, engage him still from where we are back at the tunnel so that you've always got that cover don't let him get any closer than this so that's two down pick up some stragglers here and then on to the third who is still on the beach front if that's what you want to call it but further around just creep round again don't let him get too much of a good line of sight on you you don't want him coming running down keep them at a distance so we've got three abominations at the start and then lots of screebs in packs of four that keep coming at you. Just keep at it, slowly tick him down, keep him at arm's length. Again, I'm using only malfeasance to prove how good a weapon it is, but use everything at your disposal when you're doing it. Right, anyway, that's three down. Now, I come up and start getting rid of some of the mines there, but you will see these raiders, I believe, are they? No, stalkers. Uh, a bunch of stalkers come in and our first overload. Now, I also want to point out that there's a, a sniping little kit right at the back of the map on a ledge there. Keep an eye out. I'll show him you in a second as soon as I get to it. There he is. Right, make sure you get that guy. Again, take him from this range because he won't shoot at this range. If you get further up towards the top of the map he will one shot you so as soon as you see this guy I know it's long distance but just get him down get him dead um, he's currently stuck in teleport there for some reason he's tried to teleport away and it's glitched but he will come back in just keep looking keep an eye on him get rid of these screebs they only come down the top right here we go get him finished off we want that raider dead now you're safe to just take on this Overload Chieftain. Don't really have to worry about his attack. He fires these kind of arc grenades at you. They bounce all over the place. It's quite random. They're not really tracking or anything like that. Just again, stick to the right. Use the wall for cover. Slowly get him down. Now this is the bit we want to worry about. So we get a few screams come in. Get yourself back. You'll hear a wave of them spawn in. Just get back. Get them dead. Then you want to come up here because that will trigger the next set of screebs to load in. So you want to get yourself back here again, take them out, and then head back up that right hand side to where we've just been. 
and this time it will trigger the final unstoppable champion if you look bottom left champion has appeared now you want to run and go all the way back because it's another abomination and it's caught me out quite a few times before because you're right up that end of the map and he sees you and he starts charging at you and then you're running away panicking trying to stagger him and you're dead before you know it I should get a glimpse of him in a second there he is look so keep him back again keep him long range pick off the screebs and then just move out round here at the side again and just don't let him get any closer than that as soon as you've got him round that bit of island there just keep shooting keep hiding behind cover keep him back there now once this guy's done that's the entire first section over and we can move inside right, I've killed him I'm just going down the beach front here again cautiously checking for screaves because they can sneak up on you it only takes one now important bit now that we're heading inside shoot these explosives immediately because if anything else shoots them and you're standing up here you're dead right we have a load of ravagers and stalkers stay up here just stay up here now we don't go any further in this lost sector we've got another overload in again from this distance is not really anything to worry about he'll fire the odd grenade but if you're looking at him and you've picked off most of the other little lads just stay up here slowly tick him down on his health don't risk engaging at any closer distance I will say do not underestimate the little guys they'll all come to you like this but make sure you get them down before you even take on anybody else these lot all spawn in after you kill that one overload and then another overload comes in but take the little guy down first don't underestimate them they're only low level lads, but at this level they will kill you fast but that's what you should do with every engagement in lost sectors um, prioritize get good cover take the little guys down so you've got the big guy only on his own because if you're working with like one of these overloads or who can get the energy back by teleporting or a barrier who just puts his barrier up and you know if you're dealing with little lads at that point you don't want to be doing that you want to get them down and then you've only got you one on one to keep staggering them and doing damage uh, the ravagers here I do try and shoot the lanterns because they explode again if you've got a couple beneath your feet because you've killed them and someone fires up a grenade like that and it sets fire to them again that can instantly kill you so just make sure you stay away from any of those lanterns that they drop and uh, yeah this is it really the last bit just keep shooting the chieftain main boss in the head from a distance again is shooting is not anything to worry about it's easily dodgeable slow firing spread uh, you can just dodge left and right slowly if you see it coming towards you doesn't even matter if one or two hit you it's from that far there's not much damage from him it's more the ads that spawn in that you're worried about so yeah there we go one of the easier lost sectors I will say but completed solo master flawless using only the malfeasance so hopefully this will give you a boost of confidence required to enter these lost sectors using your full array of weapons supers and class abilities and get this ticked off so hopefully this has been helpful let me know in the comments what weapons you have or haven't got and if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing and until then i've been mad beef be lucky guardians